Well, some people really like raised beds, while others are totally against it. In this video, I'm going to share five reasons to have raised beds and also reasons not to. I'm not for or against raised beds. I want to provide you with factual information so you can make your own decision. So let's get started. Reason number one is if you have really hard compacted soil. Now we had gravel here and this area is severely compacted and it's really hot. If you went with a pick and you try to break into the soil, you will have trouble breaking in. So I build raised beds in this area so I can actually have soil up to six inches above that hard compacted soil. That way I can still plant vegetables. So if you have hard compacted soil, you can build raised beds using these fence pickets or two by sixes or one by sixes if you like and you can raise the level of your garden to have loose soil to plant. Now I also made a video about how to build these raised beds using fence pickets which is the cheapest way to build raised beds and these are redwood fence pickets so check that video out if you're interested. Reason number two and that depends on what you want to grow. Now if you want to grow tomatoes, eggplants, okra, they will even grow well in, in, in ground if you just till your ground or loosen up your ground and amend more compost in there and plant it on a flat ground. If you have really compacted soil, you can even make berms, which is alternative way to have a little bit fluffier soil as compared to building raised beds. However, if you want to plant root vegetables such as carrots, turnips, beets, and radishes, you must have a lot of loose soil, at least up to a foot deep of loose soil. So if you have really hard compacted soil, that's another reason to build raised beds to plant those kind of vegetables. Now you can also build raised beds to plant ginger, onions, garlic, and, and anything that goes into the ground, including potatoes and sweet potatoes as well. So raised beds allow you to have fluffier and loose soil. And I made a video about five tips to grow lots of root vegetables in which I emphasized having really loose soil to grow those root vegetables. Reason number three, having proper drainage. So if you have clay soil, which retains moisture really well, you have to think about having good drainage into your garden. If you have sandy loam soil or other kinds of sandy or silt loam, you don't have to worry about drainage as much because those soils are naturally very well drained. So if you have those kinds of soil, you don't actually need raised beds. You can just plant on the flat ground. If you have clay soil, it's better to have raised beds in your garden so that you have really good drainage. Now, as mentioned earlier, you can also have berms and you can plant on berms to have good drainage in clay soil as well, and that works too. So the first three reasons center around the plants and the soil. And I also made a video on how you can fill your raised beds with free organic compost, and you can do that over the winter. So check that video out if you're interested. And I also made a video on how you can have free raised beds as well using wood logs or anything that floats your boat. So check that video out if you're interested as well. And you don't actually have to buy two by six or fence pickets or one by sixes. You can use anything that floats your board to build your raised beds. Just make sure the wood is not pressure treated or chemically treated. Otherwise you will have all those chemicals leased into your garden. The reason number four. Now if you have any sorts of health problems or physical limitations such as bad knees or bad back, it's beneficial to have raised beds so that the plant sits up a little bit higher and it's easier to reach to those plants. I've seen people build raised beds that are up to two feet high and some people even re build raised beds using corrugated metal as well and those are really high up as well. So for people that have health issues or physical limitations, raised beds are a really good solution. Now reason number five, weeding. It's really easy to weed a garden that's built with raised beds because you have set pathways that have weed block on them and have gravel or wood chips and then all your plants are in a designated area within the raised beds and you can easily reach to them and weed them and it's easy to manage your raised bed as well in that way. Now here are a few reasons not to have raised beds. Now raised beds cost a lot of money. Lumber costs money. So if you don't have access to wood logs or free material it will cost you a lot of money to build raised beds. So you can always plant on berms. Another reason not to have raised beds is that they take a lot of effort and a lot of time. So 
if you are short on time and you don't want to spend all that effort and time in building raised beds you can always plant on berms as i mentioned earlier which is a cheaper and much cost effective alternative another reason not to have raised beds is that they get attacked by termites even the redwood and cedar raised beds that I built two years ago got attacked by termites. So they are not immune. They resist rot and they resist pest infestation, but they are not immune. So never build raised beds right next to your house or the walls of your house. Another reason not to have raised beds is if you already have really good soil. If you already have a lot of organic matter in your soil, you have lots of compost and you really have a really good garden and you really have good soil, you don't actually need raised beds. So it all depends on your conditions. If your conditions warrant having raised beds, such as if you have a concrete or bricks, and if you still want to have a garden, you can build raised beds and fill it with lots of compost organic matter to still have a garden. But if you already have good soil, you don't need to spend any more money or, or spend any more effort in building raised beds. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.